when the animals and the humans live together. But at one time, at a point in time, the human beings, they wanted to be a little bit more in control and, and they tried to tell them that, you know, things aren't that way, we're, we're together in this world like this. And they soon uh, found themselves engaged in war, the animals against the humans. It was the animal people that had the, the game of Slachal. And so they approached the humans and told them, look, let's end this war today. Whoever wins at the end of this game will be the winner of the war. On that day, the human beings won the game. And from that day on, the animals stopped talking to the human being. This helps to explain and understand a lot of the traditional stories that you hear of when the animals do speak to us. You're gonna put them behind your back, hide them, and then when you pull them out, you're gonna uh, point on her with your head. Underneath that knot, let's not release the string, but put them under there, let me see. You notice that you have an arrow with one odd colored vein. It's going to click on, and that odd color is going to be facing away from the bow. Called knocking the bow, knocking the arrow. Okay. Reach for the target. I want this elbow up. All right, you're going to bring it up. You're going to drop back to the corner of your mouth like this. And then you're going to let it go, like that. Sight to the mouth, sight down the string. For Culture Day, we decided it was a good idea to get our kids some hands-on experience with different types of fishing techniques. Our very first pool has dip net fishing, a more traditional style. Um, our second one turned into a cooling off station, but it was intended to be a hand catching our uh, trout and then the last two are um, hand line fishing. Just toss out different experiences for the kids for great fun in the water. So what I want you guys to do is all underhand stuff. Right? It's going to get right in the middle of the pool. It's going to be a beautiful cast either way. The little tree grew and grew. One day, a big wind storm came and the wind blew very hard. So with this big bear family, he went out to the big bears. Pushing up the sky, the crater and changer first made the world in the east. Then he slowly came westward, creating as he came. <laughs>
portion, we have a special guest with us here today, Miss Martina Campbell. She's gonna go ahead and bring her uh, horse out here. The men were starving and they began to feed their families and they were caught by these farmers stealing and it kind of started a war. President Abraham Lincoln taught 38 Dakota men and we shared this history with our students and the importance of the Dakota 38 ride. How we acknowledge the past and what has happened, but to have healing for ourselves and move forward to the future. About in, that, in that flag song is they're gonna honor the teachings of their grandfathers and carry those on in that way. Lieutenant Governor for the State of Washington to come up here. For those of you who don't know, Brad has decided that he's going to resign. Retire, sorry. Hopefully, Brad will still come and do archery with us. We're just so fortunate to have him take time out of his busy schedule to help us. So I'd like all of you guys to give him a big hand. We enjoy him, he's done so much for us in the state of Washington that all of us should be overwhelmed by what he's done for us. Thank you, Brad, one more time. It's a great privilege for me to come and teach archery here uh, for the uh, community center and come out to uh, cultural days. I will continue to be here to teach archery as long as I can. For us in Culture Day, when we sat down, we thought about Culture Day, you know, and uh, what, what culture and what, what that means to us, you know, in sharing culture. You know, we like to say we, we do our best to influence culture to our students. And these things seem like challenges at first, but just resorting back to what we look at, what our people currently do today, you know, and, and so we said we can, we can do that. We can fill up these pools and bring this culture into our children, kind of in a little bit more of an urban uh, environment and a setting. You know, we were happy about it because we seen how excited our students were and how, you know, they, they felt good about it. And then it came down to the parade portion. We had wrote out on a sheet all kinds of just different things, themes, stories, songs, uh, current events in that way. And we put that on there and had these teachers selected. And then when the uh, Fifth grade teachers, they had selected the, the Dakota 38. We were really happy because um, the meaning of that ride and the healing, you know, it really goes along with what we vision envision as our goal, you know, and to breaking away and giving these inner city native kids, you know, a sense of identity. So uh, I guess for Culture Day this year, um, Lyle Dorman, you know, he's this genius mastermind full of all these ideas. And he came to me with an idea about a celebration, celebrating what the kids learn all school year here. He um, came up with the ideas of stick games and uh, the fishing, archery, and these are things that we built into our, um, our curriculums here so that the kids wouldn't only experience it here at the Culture Day, but that they would also have an opportunity to learn it beforehand. So they came with some knowledge and some um, some understanding. Um, you could see it on their faces that they had put a lot of thought, a lot of effort into it that the kids had, and it was all about them this year. 
everybody did a fantastic job this year. So the parade, when uh, Lyle came to me with the idea of the parade, um, we wanted the parents to experience um, what the kids get here at Chief Leshy. The kids did great, because I mean, without these children learning what it is that we teach here, it's not about, you know, singing a song and doing it a dance, it's about passing on traditions and teaching it in a way that they want to take care of it. That's what it was about and that's what it was all geared toward. Um, the activities, the parade, it was about them and showing showing the community that they hear us and you know they're they're stepping up to the challenge to take care of these things and so.